back. Welcome back. I'm Kanisha Leggett with KUMSOT and today I'm going to show you a little bit about the difference of communicating with the parent and communicating with the child. So the three activities that we are going to go over today are going to be stacking blocks. We will discuss playing bingo and then being in prone on a scooter or slideboard. So, if I was speaking to the parent, this is how I would do it. How are you today, Mr. Leggett? Welcome to the clinic. Today, Damon and I are going to be working on three different activities. I just want to kind of give you an idea as to what the activities will be covering so you can understand why we are doing them and know the importance of the skills that we'll be working on. So when Damon arrives, coming in from his other therapy session, he and I are going to start with stacking blocks. Now, stacking blocks works on several different aspects of a child's development. We're talking about fine motor and gross motor skills with the hand and the upper body. We're talking about balance, depending on whether I have him do it standing or sitting, or again, prone, which is on your tummy. Um, we're talking about grading the activity as whether the blocks are heavy or soft, light. Um, it also works on color recognition, matching, processing skills, um, and all of those are the basic components that you would use in everyday education. Um, the building blocks, if you will, for such things as handwriting and math and reading and comprehension. So it seems like a play activity for Damon. However, we are addressing the skills that he will need in order to complete his daily occupation as far as school is concerned, um, fine motor, so he'll be able to open toothpaste, hold a toothbrush, um, gross motor as far as the larger movement with his arms and stacking um, for being able to put on a shirt and help with the dressing. So that would be the importance of the stacking block. Next being on his stomach builds the back extensor muscles. It also works on posture, being able to be upright. While you're using those muscles, it's getting core strength in. It works on functional reaching while they're in tummy time. Um, it also works on attention to task as well as forcing the child to build those muscles in upper body and neck as far as supporting the head, holding the head upright, which is important during several occupations as far as in school being able to sit upright, hold your head up and attend to the board, as well as during bathing and dressing, even if the arms are weaker, being upright helps with pulling things over the head. And also with self-feeding, being able to hold the head up so that you're properly swallowing. The next thing would be the bingo. Bingo is a great task because kids enjoy it. Um, it's fun. They get prizes at the end, which is their motivational piece. But I want you to know that it's also beneficial as far as recognizing numbers, um, processing, following instructions, taking turns, building social skills. So what appears again as a child's play um, carries over into everyday occupational activities for the child, that social aspect, that taking turns for when in school, that recognize, recognition of numbers and sequencing and following instructions are all great tasks that we want to build on because they all play a role in normal development. So here Damon is coming in right now. So we'll have Damon come on over and join us. How are you today, Damon? How are you? Good. Good. Is it okay if I call you Damon? Yes. Okay. So Damon, we're going to start with building blocks. So if you come around here to my side, we're going to show dad He's not what you're doing. Matter of fact, let's come over here. Damon. Okay, so we're going to start. What I want you to do today is we're going to try and build blocks as high as we can. Now you get to be creative with this because you get to choose which blocks, what color, but I want you to build as tall as you can. Now I heard from dad that you're a pretty good builder, so I want to see how well you can build. So let's get started. 
which piece should kind of go on the bottom so that we've got a good base. Now remember, we're trying to go up tall, not out to the side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, cut my video off. 